Our world is mirrored by a dark and desolate parallel earth, ruled over by the tyrannical and deadly despot known only as Mr. E. Each one of us has a double in the other world, one who looks just like us, yet remains different in many ways. Only one family has ever possessed the knowledge to traverse the dimensions and switch places with their doppelgangers, a dynasty of scientists, magicians, and troublemakers known as the Havocs. Martin Havoc, a detective who is the latest in the family line, has learned that Mr. E is putting together the pieces of a device that will allow him to open a portal to our world so that he can strip this earth of its resources. Together with his sharpshooting lover named Roche, the two have obtained the last piece that he needs, a mysterious relic which they hope to hide from him here on our earth. Mr. E has sent his warrior woman, Eris, to retrieve the relic no matter what cost. But to hide the relic here, Havoc must switch places with his double in this world. An industrialist, millionaire, haunted by nightmares of the parallel universe and a mysterious tree that holds the secrets of what is to come. The two Martin Havocs must work together across an ocean of time and space to save both of their worlds from the diabolical plans of Mr. E. Along the way, they find themselves at odds with the two women they both love, while at the same time fighting to prove their very sanity. This is the story of The Cliff Dwellers. Every night I dream of this tree, a tree like no other. I can sense its power. I get closer and closer to it. It becomes clearer and clearer inside my head. But tonight, it feels different. Time is, Time coming, is coming, my coming, friend. friend. Our time. Don't let me, Don't down. me down. Where it's the Where end, the for, end us for us all. <laughs> Honey, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Another nightmare? They're getting worse. I don't know how much more I can take. Well, come here, baby. Mm. I think it's time you talk to somebody about this. Rachel has always been the center of my life, my one true love. She is my inspiration and my muse. We've been discussing a second honeymoon, maybe Paris, but he's been so busy lately with the company, he really needs to relax more. These strange nightmares I've been experiencing have caused some tension in our marriage. I know Rachel loves me, but lately we feel somewhat disconnected. I thought joining the club would be perfect to help him forget his troubles, but he just does not seem to be interested. I don't know how much longer that inner circle is going to hold the opening for us. I've come across cases like this many times before. Plus there's the fact that my nightmares have spilled over into the day. Maybe I do need to see a psychiatrist because there's no other way to explain the things I see, except that I might be insane. It had happened before, and now it was happening again. My reflection was me. But at the same time, it wasn't. It was a double from my nightmares. No! I came to warn you. The time is coming, my friend. Behavior so 
erratic. I'm really worried. He has never acted like this before. Talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll keep you informed. No problem, Rachel. Bye. Rachel. Oh, he scared me. <laughs> I did not know you were standing there. Listen, my reflection, it happened again. Hey, are you almost finished in there? I need to do my makeup. The dinner starts in an hour, and I tell you what, I don't want to be late again. I, don't I miss know out what on to do. all the best gossip. Why do I keep saying it? Why don't you make an appointment with my shrink, Dr. Wise? At least let her prescribe some meds. A few Valium might help you relax. Now, come on, hurry up and finish what you're doing so I can get in there. Can we just skip the dinner thing? It's going to be the same old stuff, shirts, talking business. I get enough of that Martin. all day long. We have to go. This isn't just business. It's club business. And if we make a good impression, we uh, may be able to join. I don't know why we even join. I never have the time to use any of the facilities. Well, you should make time. Maybe a few hours in the steam room there will help you relax. Maybe take care of these um, visions you claim to be having. You act like you don't believe me. Martin, not now. <sighs> Martin, mm -hmm. please. I am not in the mood. Okay, hey, later. Tonight, after the dinner, I promise. Okay. Sure. I still felt the same way about Rachel after all these years, but for her... Oh, hey, don't forget to light a match when you're done in there. I fear the honeymoon's been over for a while. Oh, hey, honey, I, I almost forgot. I've got to show you what I bought today. It's absolutely gorgeous. Where did you get that? Isn't it beautiful? Rachel! Where did you get it? Honey, what's wrong? What? Where did here. you get it? Mickey Hargitage. You were beautiful. I, I just thought I had a thought of one. Mark, what is wrong? No! It was a different place. It looked different. It sounded different. Hell, it even smelled different. It was dark. Full of shadows. I stood there and took it all in, asking myself one question. Where was I? The cat sensed I wasn't its master anymore. What a pussy. I wasn't alone. Someone was here, and they were searching for something. Rachel, is that you? Oh, I thought I was alone. Apparently not. No matter. Now you can save me some time. Where is it, Havoc? Where's what? Don't play games with me. You stole something from Mr. Look, e, Mr. E, and he who? wants it back. Look, lady, I don't know who you are. I don't even Where know is who it? I am. Look, I don't know what you want, so why don't we just sit down here and have a little talk about it? The time for talking is over. You stole the relic from Mr. E. He wants it back. Look, you're not gonna. Let me just talk. Where about is it, now, Havoc? Look, let's just talk about this. You won't believe this. I, I don't belong here. I was at my house. I was talking to my wife. I wasn't getting any. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're funny, man. But Mr. E does not have a sense of humor. He simply wants back what is his. Now hand it over, or I cut you into pieces. Look, that would be quite I'm funny. Sorry, now. I don't. Know. Oh, 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 oh. You had your chance, Hal. <sighs> Mr. E will stop at nothing to get back what is his. You know you're once his favorite. You cross the line. <laughs> Damn teleporter. The hell? Are you alright? I came to warn you, but I was too late. I'm frightened. I love you so much. <laughs> mm. oh, ow. Baby, you're hurt. It's okay. It's okay, baby. Everything's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. okay. No! <sighs> What's wrong, Martin? What happened? For a minute there, you seemed like you were someplace else. And I was. Only now I had to figure out 